Hello YouTubers, here's another video on how to use the shift register 74HC165 and 74HC595. This is a shift register in, I mean this is a shift register out and this is a shift register in. And uh, here's a circuit on how it all works. Here, let me show you the circuit first. Here's a complete uh, circuit. It looks very, very messy. I'm not going to clean it up, but I, I didn't have very much time, so I try to kind of slap this together real fast. So these first two chips is the 595s, and they're connected uh, together. And then this third chip is HC74165, and here is its eight inputs. Then this is the second one, 74 uh, HC165, and here's its inputs. And to kind of get a little background, I made some previous videos about shift registers. I'll probably watch those before you watch this one. So this video shows you how to use multiple, how to connect multiple of these to have uh, 16 inputs and 16 outputs and how to read them and stuff like that. How to read inputs. And so here's the two uh, 595s connected together. So the pin 14 is the data. Um, pin 12 is the latch. Connects to pin 10 of the Arduino. Pin 11 connects to pin... 11 on the Arduino, this is the clock. Pin 10 is connected to positive. And then, I forgot to write on here. Pin 13 connects to ground. So pin 14 is the data pin, connects to pin 9 of the first chip. So this first chip connect, controls LEDs 1 through 8. The second chip controls LEDs 9 through 16. So pin 13 is ground, connected to negative. Pin 12 connects to pin pin 12 of this one, which is the latch pin, connects to Arduino. Pin 11 connects to pin 11 of this chip, that's clock. And then pin 10 connects to positive, and pin 9 is not used, but if you have another uh, Shift register, this pin 9 will connect to pin 14 of the preceding one. <laughs> so, okay. And here's the here's the hard part. This is the hardest part of the whole thing, how to connect these. Here's the two 165s. Let me write it on here. 74 HC165. And they're both the same. And here's how to connect those. So you have the 8 switches which is these things in this case. Let me bring out a light a little bit better. Okay, so it's uh, these little bars, and you can see them a little bit better. Um, and the, they're connected with the resistor. I've showed this in the previous videos, but a switch, and you have a, t a 10K resistor, but I used the 100K in this one, but you can use either one. Connect to the positive, and this, and this pin connects to the chip. I have these little wires going there. And he, so here's how connected. Let me put this here so you can kind of see it. Pause the video to get a. I know it's very messy, but, but here it is. So you have pin one, and pin two, connects to pin one and pin two of the first one. Then. Pin 15 connects to pin 15 of the first one, which all goes to pin 4 of the Arduino. And pin 2 of the these two chips connects to pin 6. And pin 1, pin 1 of these two chips connects to pin 7 of the Arduino. Um, and then to cascade these, let's see. Yeah, pin 10 of the first one. Pin 10 of the first one uh, connects to pin 8 of the second one. So you have these three pins connected all together. And then pin pin 10 connects to the to the following uh, shift register. So sorry, pin 7 of this one connects to pin 10 of that one. So if, you, if I have one more over here, so uh, if I had one more chip over here, so pin 7 from here would connect to pin 10 over here. And pin 9 is not used. 
and here it is how it's all looking and then I have the code I will be posting a code on under the video later on but here's the code so I have the diagrams over here I have the sorry my hands are a little shaking right now I'm just so excited okay I'm gonna just scroll slowly all the way to the bottom okay I think that's it all right and I also hooked this up to serial monitor so you could see it how it works okay let me take auto scroll off so the first one is a uh, pins 1 through 8 and here's the uh, 8 bits and the second one uh, pin I mean inputs 9 through 16 and here's its uh, bits and I also on a video right here I connected if incoming equals this uh, so if switch number 8 is high uh, digital write LED 13 to be high so if you go over here uh, the incoming is this first one so if I switch this switch 8 to be on this LED this LED 13 should turn on okay let's test this out bam and it turned on now I'm going to turn it off and it's off now this LED right here LED 2 is connected to this one so if this one is switched it turns on. Now I'm going to unswitch it. It's off. But the thing is, I'm not sure what the problem is. Uh, these switches are backwards. So here, the bottom over here is low, but the top over here is low. It's They're opposite. So I, they have to switch them in the opposite direction. I'm not sure why it's that. But it's working. And that's how you would do it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, I will post this code in neat form. Uh, I've had some uh, little tips on how to make videos a little bit better. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you so much.